All right, round three is up. We are two and one. Let me fix this preview card for the millionth time. And we will keep. We have so many prism rings. We just need some lands. Maybe this deck should have a 25th land. I don't know. There's so many cantrips. Again, we're in the spot where our opening hand is just very, very different than all of our other opening hands, which is just very strange. All right, if we draw a land, I like my chances. I'm not even sure I should play this other prism ring, but whatever. I'm in there. Let's do it. I'm going to run out of fingers for all these rings. Opponent appears to be kicking it kind of old school with this Cryptolith right deck. Golf the Shore is probably pretty nice. Really need a land. Otherwise, our deck is not doing a whole lot. Probably going to lead on Sanctum and then maybe pour in Golf, but I could also see just like playing another Sanctum because we're going to be gaining a bunch of life, but. No such luck. We're going to have to nag into our fourth land, I think. Opponent likely has collected company. Pretty glad I played that third ring, actually, instead of holding it for poor. But company might kill us. We are a little behind. Gaining three life per spell, though. Brick City? Or too many things? Too many things, all right. So this engulf is going to be pretty nice, and I'm yeah, I just have to do that this turn. No more companies. Just engulf in beginning of combat because why not? I nah, I guess I should let him attack because now he has a lone dryer that can maybe float and cast a collected company. So I suppose I was supposed to let my opponent attack first. Realistically, I don't think it matters all that much, but... We shall see. Pick him up. What you got? What's your big follow-up? Elvish Visionary, try and hit a land. That makes sense. And then probably Duskwatch. Lone Dryad? Nah, you gotta play Recruiter, right? Discard two cards. Hell yeah. All right, now I officially think that we have all the rings that we could ever want in a million years. So if we draw a land, we can play Sanctum, hold open Hydro Lash. Uh, alternatively, we could just start the turn by pouring over some pages, and I guess like then just have Hydro Lash. When it did hit that land. We're still doing okay. Well, recruiter flipped. Opponent likely has collected company.
So we are going to keep open the lash. And then next turn, just start going off. Maybe play out that fourth prism ring, because why not? Sky spawner, and that's it. Five land, probably. Maybe three land, two Cryptolith, right? All right, so with Hydro Lash, I have to wait until they attack. So I don't even really have a reason to mess it up for myself. Pretty wild that I can just like kill one of my sanctums and then go to combat. And I wouldn't be able to lash. It'd be pretty annoying. But yeah, so many triggers. Nope. Nope on islands. Nope on islands. We'll find those eventually. We don't need those. See, we still found one. So next turn, if I play Prism Ring and then pour over the pages, I'm gonna end up with four mana, is that correct? Ring pages, four. Yeah, I think it's worth it. My opponent have another collected company, or are they just keeping up a displacer? Also, does it matter? Eh, Hydro Lash is not bad. Is another fog means they don't necessarily have to blow this part of the water veil. Hmm. I mean, I'm at 18. I don't think it's really that big of a deal. If I find more cantrips, it's just kind of like the same thing. Uh, so I could pour over the pages and then have three mana left. So yeah, I guess I'll keep that one. So I don't need island. Yeah, sure. We'll top anticipate. Card Island again. Pour over some more pages. Uh, Days Undoing is reasonable if we end up with an Engulf the Shore. But we will keep the other time walk. What do I want to discard here? I do need to engulf before I start time walking. At least if I'm kicking it. So I guess I discard the lash. And then I should be able to take this hit since I'm at 26. Just at a million life points. Just displacing visionary, that is cool. I did play some spells that turn, I guess, so your recruiter can probably transform. Now they have blue mana. Don't know if that changes anything, just means they get to recast their sky spawner. Yeah, nine damage. That, that ain't nothing. I 
You just make Ormondal in response? That's actually not that bad of a play. Do you think I'm fine with that, though? Does mean I need to find like another engulf. Should be able to do that though. Maybe I should have just bottomed that anticipate. I think I'm just going to take the day's undoing. Kind of going off. Oh, rise from the tides. Hello. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten zombies. So we go ten zombies, time walk. I think. Eight mana. Yep. Hmm. What if we go time walk days undoing? Is that better? I think it's better because then I only need to find an engulf. And I'm not going to draw that engulf. All right, so now we have engulf the shore, and that should do it. So my 1818 is not going to get bounced. Their Ormondal is. And we have an 1818 Island. Plan worked out. And we are 45 life, just in case. Yeah, I don't like the wave. Could see bringing a thing in the ice. I don't think I need the third Days Undoing or the Rise from the Tides. Uh, kind of like the Prism Ring. Like Sanctum, like Engulf, obviously. Maybe Pour Over the Pages is a little slow. So a third thing can get in there. We'll try those. We'll see how we like those. And then maybe uh, use the fourth one on the play. I guess Pour Over the Pages is a little bit better when we're on the play, too. So it's tough. This deck actually doesn't seem that bad. I do feel like if people actually try and beat you, they probably could. Uh, I know that when I was playing against part of the Water Veil decks back in the day, if I just like kept over two removal spells, it was really tough for them to like actually combo me. Uh, but if people start attacking like your Jace's Sanctums and stuff post board, and having like discard and stuff, like I imagine this opponent is going to have like negate, transgress, stuff like that. But I don't think there's enough stuff to warrant bringing in my own negate or invasive surgery or something. Just doesn't seem like enough. So we'll just mostly keep it the same. Just cut some of the clunkier things.
Well, we have the combo. We have engulfed the shores. Days undoing. Let's see if they put up any resistance. I imagine they will. But now we have redundant copy of engulf, which is nice. Likely gonna have to anticipate for a land. Them fetching an island is kind of telling. So don't need a land now, but do want to anticipate Maine to not have their recruiter be on. I think I might just want a Hydra Lash. Just give me something to do next turn. Just gain some life, draw a card. Well, if it was just for Sky Spawner, then it's not too crazy. So now the recruiter gets to transform. Which obviously could be an issue, you know, if they just get to play a bunch of stuff. But we do have Engulf the Shore to just reset them. So this could be a Smasher. Yeah, that's, that's not great. Not great for me at all. So I take four this turn, I'm at 14. And I take 11 next turn. So I think I can just play Sanctum. Going to three is kind of rough, but it is it is nice to have just the Sanctum in play. I guess if they have another Smasher, I'm just dead. another smasher I'm still not in a good spot either it's kind of tough so I'm gonna have to engulf next turn too so uh, I don't see a reason to not do this during combat I don't really care if they just replay their stuff well, it's possible that that could just get countered too or maybe there's if they do have a counter spell they're probably saving it for like a lethal Lethal thingy. So for here, here for example, I mean, I guess I could just engulf on my turn, but that seems not great. Don't know how I win the game if that's the case. I think I have to do this during combat. So if I can go up on my turn, they just replay Smasher and hit me, and then I'm still in the same spot. So I don't think that actually gets me anywhere. I assume you have negate, which is why you're thinking. Nope. Okie doke. I probably should have taken that turn to play Sanctum just because I didn't have... I'm not going to have another good window to play this thing. I'd be in a much better spot. Just be able to cast like Nagging Thoughts and stuff. Okay, so now they're keeping up in company. I have to nag into a land, but I think I have to make my land drop this turn. And we just bricked. So we'll take the Hydra Lash. And pass. Did have to show him thing in the ice too, which is probably not good. Although I would imagine that opponent knows that that is a thing that could be there. I think if I took the time to play the Sanctum, uh, I would be at a much lower life total, but and I would risk dying to a Smasher. But I'm kind of always just at that risk. And I think I would be in a much better spot. May have even been a turn where I could have been like engulfed and cast days undoing. And then maybe I would have been okay. Instead, all my spells are quite expensive. Doesn't look like they have negate. I 
Just keep ramajamming everything. No. I was like, what the hell is going on? How is that song on tapping for mana? Oh. Okay, sure. Guess that's pretty good. Maybe this deck wants like some just the wins or something, I don't know. On tap draw land. Tilt. Tilt, tilt, tilt. Could have engulfed and played Days Undoing perhaps. Yeah, so I think I want the other thing in the ice, despite its dissynergy with Engulf the Shore. I think just like having one or the other is fine. And then you can kind of plan around it. Need some of them there, uh, Prism Rings. Card's kind of dope. Man, maybe I should build like mono black control prism ring. Or close to mono black. Maybe that's good. Cast some read the bones, some dark petitions. Just gain infinite. I gotta figure out how to fix this preview thing. It's kind of annoying. Oh man, a one lander. Uh, this this is not not great. Not great. But we keep bottom island. Feel like I had a shot to win last game. Should have played the Sanctum when I had the chance. So if I play Prism Ring this turn, I can gain a life off Thing next turn. But if I draw a Cantrip, then I'm missing out on actually casting a spell. I think this is worth it though, even though it's just a life. Since I don't have a lot going on, I might need that life. Now I have the hiccups. Well, it all worked out. I block. Please to be blocking. Oh, this, no, Reflector Mage, no! No! Alright, still a 20, still a 20, everything's okay, just need to draw some, uh, some card drawing. Okay, okay. Um, may or may not fire that off this turn. I'm thinking I probably shouldn't, but like, what's what's in their hand that they're like not activating recruiter, not casting anything? Is it just negate? I wish I could play two spells and flip that recruiter back, but alas. Oh, thought not seer. I guess that's why. But then you should still activate it, right? Yeah, take four of the pages, leave me with this kind of useless time walk. Basically just gonna cycle and remove a counter from my thing in the ice. 
Hydro Lash is not bad. A lot of different triggers. Do get to scry, don't really want the island. Cantrip? Nope. I think playing land there is correct, but I could be wrong. Yuck. Oh, do I top this thing? Yeah. Oh no, okay, yeah, yeah, this is fine actually. I forgot I was drawing a card off the Hydro Lash. Okay, okay. I think that's worth a top. And then, is there anything tricky I can do here? I don't think so. I think I just draw my other card. Don't need that, we need some action. Another Sanctum's not really action, but it'll do. Opponent's gonna have to discard so many cards, it's great. Took my engulf, which is not surprising. We draw a land, we can just play out our two thingies. We draw a spell, we'll actually have decisions for what we want to cast here. So pretty easy choice, I think, just to play these two. Not really worry about it, not play our lands. Now our opponent has the choice of playing Reflector Mage, uh, or if they draw a land, play Thought Not Seer. And they feel like they're behind, so they're trying to play a Visionary to hit a land drop. And they brick, so now they have to clean up again. Kind of flooding out, but it's all right. They're not really doing a whole lot, and if we just draw a spell, we just kind of go off, so. Thing in the ice gets bouncy bouncied. Draw another island, so now no matter what, they're gonna be able to thought on our thing in the ice. So maybe things are getting a little dicey. Yeah, it's not great. Drew a lot of lands in a row there. It's a smasher too? Jeez. Jeez. Well, I feel like we were a favorite uh, once we engulfed all their stuff. Because, like I said, just one spell, we just kind of go off with these sanctums. But uh, close, pretty fun games, actually.